So we are working on a 2013 F-150, and it's a no-start condition. And this is one of the number one or number two problems you'll find with the F-150s. You go to the vehicle, you open the door, uh, you go to stick your key in the ignition, and now all of a sudden it will not start. Let's, uh, let me show you. It's got all kinds of issues going on. Nothing's going on. He won't do anything. You walk out. Go over here to the passenger side of the vehicle. Open the door. Pull the kick panel here. Pull the little striker panel out of the way. Grab your... Pull that out of the way. This connector right here. People put their foot next to this little panel right here and they push up against the plastic that's on here and it pushes on this connector head and it works it forward to the point where it's not making connection anymore and it's just barely sitting inside the hole that's a problem with this model f-150 plug it back in pull it back and you see it's not latching it it's not locking in so you've got to zip tie this piece back so it stays there and can't be unlocked again so basically We didn't have any dash before and now let's go see if we got dash lights and stuff now i'm gonna have to put a battery charger on here because you can already hear that the actuators and stuff in the dash there we go we got dash lights and the truck started number one problem is that kick panel over there with that uh body control module connector coming undone now the second problem let me shut this off. Is this. Open the hood. Open the fuse box here. And fuse number 27 is the fuel pump fuse. And it's the second yellow one right here. So you go down from your big box fuses to your mini fuses, the second one over to 20 amp fuse, that fuse burns up. And there's a recall for that, or there's like a technical service bulletin that it's, it's a relocation kit that you can get at the dealership. And it takes that 20 amp fuse and it moves it over here to one of these big ones. And it puts bigger wire ends on it so it can handle more of a load and it doesn't burn up so easy. And it moves it over here and then you can turn your fuel pump on. That is the number one and number two problem with the F-150s like 13 14 model check those fuses first if you've got this fuse box up in front of your vehicle like this those two problems are your number one problems on why they won't start thanks guys